What's up, gang? Welcome to today's Daily Dose. My name is Nathan. We're actually talking about Acts chapter 9, and we're finishing up the chapter with this pretty big section, starting from about verse 21, where these two disciples are attacked by a mob, and there's this huge riot that breaks out. They've been doing these incredible works, and people have been giving up their scrolls and their idols that are for other gods, and they've started worshiping God, worshiping Jesus. The people that made these scrolls, the people that made these idols and these statues, they're starting to lose a lot of money and they're kind of causing an uproar because their businesses are suffering because now the things that they built for these other gods are no longer marketable. They're not selling. So they attack these two disciples that are preaching about Jesus because they think that they're the cause that their business is failing. And in this attack, they stir up this huge mob of people, people that are on their side and completely agree. They take them all the way into the theater, like a court of sorts, and they're going to try to attack these people and maybe have them sentenced to death. Who knows exactly what they're going to do? Maybe they're hoping they can be stoned or maybe they're hoping they can be crucified. Whatever this, whatever the case is, they want to get these, get rid of these guys so that they can keep their businesses and keep worshiping the gods they want to worship. And the city counselor eventually says, these guys have done nothing wrong. We need to let them go. After a long, long day of these guys being attacked verbally and being accused of all this stuff, the city counselor lets them go and completely throws out the case. Sometimes when we operate in the spirit, we work in a place that feels like it puts us in danger. It feels risky. It feels like it's not completely normal. It's a little off. It feels like we're isolating ourselves from the norm, from social norms, from some of our family, some of our friends, because we do things differently. We operate in a way where the Holy Spirit speaks to us and guides us and leads us. And there are certain things that we won't do that other people will. There are certain things we will do that other people won't because we want to be obedient to Jesus. The thing is, even in those times where it feels uncomfortable, where it feels dangerous, where it feels abnormal, those are the places that we are the safest. When we're in God's will, that's when we are the safest. No matter what the surroundings look like around you, no matter how loud the noise is around you, no matter how insane the attacks are coming from the outside, there's a Holy Spirit that lives in you, that guides you and protects you. And if you can operate in that, if you can listen to that, and be obedient to that, and listen more clearly, take some time to hear what he's really saying to you, then that's when you're the best off. That's when you're the, in the safest place. That's where you can find the most peace and the most comfort. Thanks for checking out today's Daily Dose. We'll see you guys on Sunday.